You welcome to the channel. My name is Indifon Tui, and on this channel, I make certain tutorials. I post new videos every Wednesdays and Saturdays. So if you are into that sort of um, thing, please don't forget to subscribe. Now, in this video, you've seen the thumbnail already. We're going to be making this easy um, top. Now, this is going to be one of the easiest things I think we've made on this channel so far. But it's all good. If you are um, if you are a beginner or you are a person that wants to just brush up on your skills, I offer online courses. If you are interested, please contact me on this number. I'm going to be showing a video how to make a jumpsuit so you can you know watch and decide if learning online is going to be convenient for you and make your decision if you are interested call the number that i can see on the screen and i want you to have a lovely day i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye so we've all seen the top that we are working on so this is going to be an easy tutorial now to begin to begin we are going to have to fold the fabric now we're starting from scratch just like what we always do we're going to have to draft the bodies as opposed to me just giving you figures so that you fully understand what's happening so now to fold the fabric this is the method you should use okay this is going to help you to economize how much fabric you consume okay so the biggest measurement around your body divided by four plus the allowance that you intend to keep on the side in this case it is our bust the bust is 33, 33 divided by 4 is 8.25 plus 2 inches is 10.25 okay so I'm going to have to readjust this so you can see me as I'm readjusting the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come to the very top at the top I'm going to draft everything facing me okay it's facing it's coming towards me from the edge of the fabric I want to measure out half an inch at the top Please make sure that if you want to cut this top, make sure you draft using your pattern paper first. Okay, don't cut on your on your fabric directly. So I'm going to come from after that line. Okay. And I'm going to place all my vertical measurements now. Alright. The underboss length is 13. Okay. Now to find your underboss length, your boss points using your underboss length, you're going to have to count four inches from your underboss length. So I've counted four up and I've placed it at nine. So the underboss length is 13, 13 minus 4 is 9. I'm simply rolling lines across the um, two points that we've marked. The next thing I'm going to mark is my top length. My top length is 19. Okay, so I'm going to make a mark at 19 there. That's top length. So roll a line across. Let me label everything so that you would see where everything sits. So the shoulder, the bust, the underboss length, here we have the top length. All right. So, we've labeled everything. We're going to have to place all our measurements across. So, we're going to place our bust measurements. Our bust is 33. 33 divided by 4 is 8.25. We're going to come from... You can come anyway. You can you can place it like this. Okay, 8.25 placing... Oh, that's 7.25. But yeah, you can either come from the tip or you can place 8.25 at the border there. I have to correct the one on top this is 8.25 that i'm marking now come back down 8.25 i'm placing the 8.25 on that edge at um, that is towards me okay so i place 8.25 from top all the way down the top is not a the top doesn't follow the the, the contours of the body it's not supposed to be um fitted so if you can if you've noticed i did not um, use the underboss round to curve anything okay so i'm placing the shoulder now the shoulder is seven seven divided by um is 14 14 divided by two is seven sorry so i've placed the shoulder there the next thing i'm going to do is i have to slope the shoulder a person's shoulder is not straight okay there's a slight slope we're going to come from the that point there i'm marking one inch down you see that place that i marked half inch the first line i'm starting from there and i'm going to mark one inch down then i've made a slope okay you can see that at this point i'm going to place my armhole measurements the measurement for finding the the method for finding the armhole is the boss divided by six plus 1.5 30 divided by 6 plus 1.5 is 7. So from that new slope that I have, I'm, I've made a mark to where 7 is. Then simply roll a straight line out. And then I'm going to complete, just complete that line to the top. If you remember, if you've seen any of my previous videos, you know that in front, we come in at the arm, we come into the armhole by half an inch in front. But this is going to be a very free top, so there's no need to do any, um, anything like that. I'll simply just complete the curve. Okay, there's no need to take it in by half inch at the armhole. I'm going to add two inches on the side keep two inches up and down okay 
Just simply extend this line and then draw a straight line connecting the two dots that you have together. Right now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add allowance to the bottom. Now, I'm usually I keep two inches at the bottom, but I intend to hem only one inch, so I'm keeping one inch uh, one inch at the bottom. Okay, so from the where the, from where you have max top length to the bottom part there is one inch. All right. So now the next thing is to cut off the shoulder. You've seen the top; it doesn't have a neckline, it doesn't have a shoulder. It's an off shoulder. The standard measurement for cutting off the a shoulder to create an off shoulder is six inches but in this case i want you to use four inches because six inches will be too low notice where i'm placing the tape look at from here okay so four inches from that line that we have there all right and then rule a straight line across all right when you're done with that we are done with drafting the um the bodies now it's time for us to cut it out we're going to come from the bottom cut around the bottom we're going to come up the side all right come to the top we're going to cut the top the exact same line and then follow the curve around the armhole okay now because of the nature of the top it has no front and it has no back so the exact same pattern that is in front is going to be exact same thing that we have at the back okay so there's no zipper allowance is basically the, the exact same thing we'll be used to cut front and back so now i'm folding my fabric okay as you can see me i'm folding the fabric i'm making the fold just like how i folded the paper and then i want you to place your pattern on top of it okay like so and i want you to keep three inches in front of here okay you see where my hand is now i want you to keep three inches in front this is the edge align it with the edge then come to the front from here to where your paper is you're going to keep three inches okay look at that we have three inches there okay so that's what i want you to have on yours when you are done with aligning everything make sure everything is balanced okay the, i now want you to fold again remember the same pattern on top will be used to cut the one that is going to be at the back so it's exactly the same thing so it would be a lot better for us to cut both of them at the same time so i'm simply going to fold my fabric and arrange it since i'm since I intend to use um the pattern on top to cut both sides i'm going to use the exact same um, pattern what i'm doing now is i'm just folding the fabric and placing it flat okay look at it it's doubled at that point Make sure the front are balanced. Make sure everything is balanced. Place your pattern on top of it. Okay, align it, and then we are going to cut out. So come, cut the top, cut all the way down here. Cut around the armhole just like we did, and you know, trim off any excess you have on the side. You can see here we've cut the pattern for both sides. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the sleeve. Okay. We we'll could continue on the fabric, and that's the next thing we're going to do. But before we proceed to the sleeve, there's something that we need to do. This is the bodice block that we have. If you can remember, I showed you guys a measurement called the off shoulder measurement. Now, the off shoulder measurement is the distance around her, um, the both her shoulders and the edge of her of her hand. The number we're dealing with is 39. Okay now take your body's pattern and you need to measure the top part like i'm doing so watch what i'm doing okay first of all keep half inch here make a mark here at half inch keep another half inch space and make a mark there okay now inside the space measure and see what you have i have 13.5 okay now the next thing i want you to do is i want you to multiply 13.5 by 2. now why are we multiplying by 2 we're multiplying by two because that we cut two pieces okay there was the front and the back look at it you see that three inches in front is what is going to create that excess that we would use that would give, give it that look when we are done so because we have front and back okay because we have front and back that is why it is multiplied by two so 35 times two <coughs> would be 27 okay so 27 27 is what I have. The next thing I want you to do is I want you to subtract this number from the off shoulder. You see, this is the front, there is the back. What we are missing is the sleeve. Okay, remember there will be also be sleeves on this part where, where, I, where I'm touching right now. Okay, and the sleeves will complete the circle that will go from front to back. What we need to know is we need to know what we need to complete the circle. Now, the off shoulder measurement, okay, is 39. Okay, so 39 minus 27 all right whatever answer you have you are going to use it to cut the off shoulder i hope that this is clear okay so 39 minus 27 
we have 12 okay this 12 means that we need to divide it into two why are we dividing it into two because there are two sides see here is going to have six here is going to have six okay what we need to complete the offshore at uh at the sleeves that's why we are passing through all of this i'm sure when you guys were in school you see this mother they are teaching me i would never use it she be now you have seen how you are stuck time to cut the sleeve okay the sleeve is in layers as you've seen in the thumbnail and in the video that opened the video so we need to cut it in layers the very very first layer is 10 inches long the second layer is 15 inches and the last layer is 20 inches since the sleeve are in levels okay i folded it like this first i'm we're trying to cut the sleeve now i'm going to collapse it like this you see this collapse it arrange everything okay i see if i'm cutting a 360 degree flame the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to i'm going to place the bodies on top of this and i'm going to use that to cut the sleeve okay now i need you to bring remember when we measured around we had six okay six was the final answer that we had when we divided 12 by 2. when you collapse that part like that you have you are cutting for two places at the same time look at this you've seen that fold there you're cutting by two okay so i want you to come to the top place your bodies okay from that corner arrange and align your bodies you see that form a triangle at the top use your chalk and outline the top that we have there so just draw a straight line that we have there you see it's just like a 360, um, 360 degree flay after you've joined the line place it on top and you form that triangle now i want you to come from that angle you see that angle where they are double not the one that's single from where it is double come from there and measure out five inches okay so from that edge five inches from here to here is five inches the next thing i want you to do is place this one on top and trace the armhole okay now that five inches comprises of two things first remember that six that we had because we are cutting it on a fold that six is now three plus two inches for the excess that is why we have that is why we have um we have five there okay three inches for this um for the sleeve because there's a fold and two inches for the excess now remember i told you that the first level is 10 inches so what i'm doing now is i'm marking 10 inches from that top part there where we marked out the triangle simply draw a line okay so from the top there i had 10 inches everywhere marked 10 inches all around and now i'm simply cutting out all right so coming down this side cutting around the curve here you can see i have cut the first sleeve this is the part that's going to act as the very first layer now you see this part here let me bring the um, bodies you see this part here this is the bodies okay <coughs> so we have the front and we have the back and i lay it flat like so now you see this sleeve the sleeve that we just cut we cut two at the same time one is supposed to go on this side and the other is supposed to go on the other side all right i hope that everything is is becoming clear i know that there's a lot of um, calculation involved okay so now it's time for us to cut the second level the second level is going to be 15 inches so let's get to that for the second step of the flay we're going to have to do the exact same thing i have the fabric you're going to have to make a fold okay as if you are cutting your um, 360 degree flay <coughs> All right, for all of you that refuse to know math since we are in trouble now. <laughs> so, I have folded. Okay, I'm going to fold it, arrange it well. I'm going to press it so that everything lays flat and smoothly. Now, I'm going to, after I have laid it flat, I'm going to need to, to cut the second step. So, I'm going to get the very first sleeve. Now, this sleeve I just drafted, okay? See this part here? So you are going to take that line, you see, align it to the parts where it is double. You see this place here that is double, yeah, make sure you align it properly. From this point, I'm going to mark out where 15 inch, okay, so 15 inch here, keep it the same place, mark 15 inch here, come down again, mark 15 inch, come down to the end, mark at 15, sorry, make a mark here at 15 inch, alright. Then draw a straight line from here to here, from here to here, 
keep going all the way out all right you see make sure you align everything properly and simply just chop it off okay you need to do the exact same thing for the um, level that is 20 inches long remember there are three steps 10 15 and 20. this second step of the flay now we have two steps for the flay it's time to cut the final step all right i'm going to cut that one without you but it's basically the same thing that i did simply just extend the length so here you can see here is here is 10 15 20. each of them was cut two times because of we have two um sleeves okay so that everywhere will be complete so at the end of the day you should end up with six pieces not three okay three for that's three inches per um sleeve okay so now i'm going to use my bias piping to finish the end this is what the sleeve is going to look like see what's see what we're about to do okay here we have the three levels one two three that's how it's going to look as for the second level this is how we are going to go about it for each panel whatever i show you on this panel sh should be applied to all the other sleeves left okay now you're going to come to the wrong side of the fabric because we want the bias to show on the outer part you come to the wrong side place it on the edge you see but if you open it up you see a crease inside there i want you to place that mark by the time you open it up i want your thread to land there from beginning all to the end so you can see i'm stitching adjust it properly as you go along make sure that your needle your needle is landing on that thread all right because i want the blue to show on the front that's why i'm coming from the back once again okay if you want it to show on the inside do the reverse of what i have just done here okay so i put it into the machine and i'm gonna start sewing, um, sewing from the beginning all the way down so here you can see carefully take your time try to sew close to the edge at the top all right it's gonna be one of the, i think this is one of the easiest things that i've made on this channel so far <laughs> so i'm done with the first level i've sewn the first level i'm going to simply repeat the exact same thing now this is the second level this is supposed to lay over this at the end of the day so I'm going to repeat the exact same thing for this level and do it on the third level. At the end of the day, we would have something that looks like this one here. Alright? Exactly the same thing as the first one do to the second one. Okay? Take the bias again. Turn it to the wrong side. Place it. Start stitching from there. And stitch around. Exact same thing. Nothing is different. Alright? Alright. So, here you can see I've done the same thing to this level. The same thing that I did to this level, I did the same thing to all the other sides. So, what I want you to do is I want you to arrange, see that curve, the curve that's in the center. Place everything to be on exactly the same level at that point, alright? And I want you to run a line joining them together at the top, alright? So, yeah, sew around, sew around, stitch around. When you get to the end, you lock it. The next thing that we're going to do, we're going to arrange and align the side. Make sure that the sides are equal. So you can see me trying to arrange it. So make sure that the armhole, everything is on point. And then we have to join them together. So you see me, I'm going to fold front side facing front side. Front facing front. Make sure that everywhere is arranged and aligned. Align everything. Take your time. Come. Make sure that all six levels that you have here at the top. Are aligned all three levels sorry at the at the top okay and then we're going to join them from the top all the way down as you are sewing down make sure that you align the um, pink the bias with one another so i'm going to turn it inside out let me show you guys when i flip it inside out this is what i'm left with so exactly what i showed you on the other sleeve is what we have achieved on this sleeve okay so it's looking nice looking good all right so now the first thing this is this is the bodies i have here this is the wrong side you turn it turn it to the front look at it place it front facing front okay this is the front side here front side facing this front side okay and i want you to seal from the top to the bottom at half an inch okay so the good side of your of your fabric should be facing themselves and the wrong side should be facing you when you're done sealing this side a half an inch i want you to repeat the exact same thing on the other side all right so you can see me doing that here okay i'm simply sealing it from top to bottom at half an inch 
and now we're going to turn it inside out after you've done that you can see that we have created the armhole if you have an overlocker or a sega i advise that you use that to finish this edge um, when you are done sewing for maximum neatness all right so if you have access to a sega or an overlocker this is the time that you use that to weave the edge all right so lay everything flat you see this look how i open this then you bring the sleeve you see also you see this part if you have an overlocker finish the inside of your sleeve all right and place it you see this the front of the sleeve the overlocker is in the rough edge is inside place it good side front facing front the good side facing the good side and so around the armhole okay please make sure that you turn the sleeve inside out before joining the armhole together that way it keeps your rough work inside i hope that is clear so that you don't sew and then end up with um with the rough part facing outside you'd have to redo it all right so simply going around the armhole nice and easy all right i'm going to please don't forget to back stitch lock your stitches on both sides all right so let me show you guys this by the time you in, we install the, the elastic it won't be so big anymore the elastic will bring it together but yeah you can see i've attached the sleeve so please look once again i'm going to lay it flat front side facing front side you see lay it flat arrange everything and then i'm going to need to stitch around the armhole now so i'm going to bring my sleeve that's supposed to be on the other side and i'm going to stitch around the armhole so for my elastic all right this is a one inch elastic this is what's going to make it stretchy you see this is one inch now the off shoulder measurements that we have is 39 when you want to cut the elastic subtract two inches from your off shoulder and use it to cut the elastic so if the off shoulder is 39 39 minus 2 is 37 so you can see me here i'm cutting it at 37 inches all right so that's what you do if you have an off shoulder of 39 cut your elastic at 37 if you have an off shoulder of 40 cut your elastic at 38 okay so that it would stretch out the elastic a bit and keep it on the shoulder rather than it being loose even when there's an elastic installed inside now i'm going to come hem the bottom of my top all right so you see this part here this is the shoulder this is the hem i'm going to hem the bottom of my of my top you see i'm half inch there then fold another half inch again okay it's a very small hem at the bottom remember i kept only one inch at the bottom all right because i knew that when i'm sewing i'll hold only half half you know i wasn't going to hold fold one inch i was folding half um I was, I was going to fold half inch two times okay that's why i kept only one inch half inch times two is equals to one so going around lock it simply just hem the bottom of your top okay now the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to have to create a space that the elastic is supposed to sit into okay so you see this joining that's joining at the sleeve i want you to lay it flat there make sure that your entire body is completely flat okay you see align the two joining measure from start to the bottom so we're going to come from here measure all the way down okay so measure through keep measuring 22 here keep going keep going so until you get to the end that's on the other sleeve so here i have 31.25 sorry 31.5 now the thing you need to do is that we need to cut a strap that's going to go around a piece that's going to go around now that's the piece i will cut would be 31.5 you see let me come back again i kept it flat like this i want you guys really understand this i measure all the way down to the end and i had 31.5 now if you can remember i measured from only here from beginning to end anything that i do be multiplied by two because if you see they have two levels look at this we have two levels here so that's 31.5 uh, divided multiplied by two sorry now what we'll end up with is 63 all right now i'm going to have to cut 63 plus one inch for my allowance so we're going to end up with 64 i hope that is clear so 64 
is what I'm going to cut. So the length of the piece of fabric I'll cut to be 64, it will be 64 then by 2 inches. Okay, by the time I bring it, you on, um, completely understand what I'm doing. So here you can see this is the piece I was talking about. From here to here is 2 inches, here to here is 2 inches, but all the way down. Okay, here is 2 inches. If I take it all, if I keep on taking it down, that long side is 64. So cut a piece of fabric that's 2 inches by 64. So the width is 2 inches and the length is 64. Now that one inch that we kept, we're going to um, use it now. So I'm going to sew from top all the way down at half an inch. Since I'm consuming half inch from two places, it's going to come, um, it's going to be one inch that I've consumed at the end of the day. Now come to um, have the top with me. This is the sleeve that we fixed. I want you to come to one of the joints. You see this place here? You see this place where the sleeve met the body? I want you to take your strap. Okay, you see this joint? That joining we have there. Turn it to the front side. Place it front side facing front side with one of the edges. And then I want you to simply stitch around the shoulder from this point. Okay? So well, it's half inch I will use to join it together. So I'm going to join the um, piece I just made to the fabric at half an inch all around. Okay? Remember that 64 is, at, is as a product of the 31.5 that I had. 31.5 times 2 was 63 plus 1 inch for sewing. I made it 64 all right that's why we put it on at 64 the two inches you will see how I, how I would use it i'm simply just sewing around the top at half an inch take your time and watch the video this is pretty easy okay nice easy top so i've gone around i've gotten to the point where i started from I've, please make sure you back stitch and you lock it there now you see this the next thing we're going to need to do is we are going to come now come to any part that you like okay so you see this place here please watch closely look at this i'm going to fold it flat okay make sure it's smooth all right and i'm going to fold half an inch inside like that make sure you do the same thing and then i'm going to sew around so i'm coming from here all the way to the other side okay from that point you see that I'm staying close to the edge. I'm going to fold that two inches that we kept. Okay, we have 1.5 inside because we've bent half inch under. So make sure you fold the whole thing. Make sure the top edge stays flat when you fold it in. And then tuck in half an inch and then keep sewing around. All right. Now, when you are going around the um, sleeve, that sleeve, there's a curve there. If you are not careful, you're going to end up losing some inches. You might need to, you know, stretch out. The fabric, the um, that piece, the one that's 64, 64 by two, you're gonna have to keep it completely flat. Okay, it is not a problem if you make little, little, almost invisible pleats. Okay, distribute distribute the excess that you have under evenly across the sleeve. Okay, because at the end of the day, we will still install an elastic inside that would gather up everything. So if you have little, little pleats like gathers on your sleeve, there's nothing wrong with that. Just don't make it look nasty. Take your time and do it step by step. So. Now I'm getting close to where I started from, but you keep a two inch space. Look at, I'm locking it here, but if you look at where what I'm doing, look closely here, you see there's a hole there. Keep a space of two inches. So when you start sewing, when you're getting close to where you started from, two inches before you where you started from, I want you to lock it there. Okay, you need a safety pin too, because the next step is we will we'll, we'll pass the um, elastic uh, around it. Okay, so, here I have my elastic. This is the elastic I'm working with. This is safety pin I said you need. I want you to see simply bind it together. All right, I'm going to go around. So come into through that hole that you left open. Simply pass the elastic through. Okay. As you are doing that, you you would notice it's not making gathers. Please make sure that you don't allow the elastic go inside. So I'm going to use my teeth to hold it. Um. So keep passing it through. Keep passing it through. If you want to use something else to secure it, that's fine. We must not be in your, you must put it inside your mouth because if you are in a place with, with people, you might, you might get the runner. Now, when I get to the end, I'm going to take out the pin. Please, when I'm passing it inside around, make sure that the elastic does not twist. You see? Then, place them together. We're going to need to hold them. So, I want you to stitch the elastic together at half an inch. 
so you see this align it please make sure the elastic does not twist when you are passing it through and do not use half inch elastic use only one inch elastic do not use anything less than one inch elastic all right so i've binded them together using my machine when we're done with that simply just stretch it out okay and distribute the gathers ahead now look at it you see that sleeve area it now has gathers because the elastic is a lot smaller than that massive shoulder that we had okay so we're almost done the last thing we're going to do is we're going to need to seal off the hole that we have here remember that hole that we kept so that we can put in the elastic we need to seal off that two inch space so that's what i'm doing now I'm simply just going to sew close to the edge please make sure you don't climb your elastic when you are doing this okay now lock from the beginning just sew across when you get to the end so when you seal it simply seal it and we are done that's it you have you have made the top you have survived you've gotten to the end so i hope that this was easy enough all right now look at this i'm going to see you guys in the next class have a nice day this is a fun easy project have a great time bye